Could you give a name to the voice of a generation? An individual that summed up all that music meant in their life, and burned so brightly that all those who came before, or after, seemed like cheap imitations. No matter who you are, or where you're from, you have doubtlessly been touched at one time or another by the voice of Freddie Mercury, lead singer of the band Queen. His voice and music only emphasized his energetic and thrilling stage persona, and though he was taken from this earth far too soon, his legacy lives on. Freddie Mercury's singing and songwriting abilities were phenomenal, and could almost be described as godlike. His remarkable vocal skill allowed him to sing anywhere from bass low F to soprano high F, a four octave range. According to Spanish soprano, Montre Cabell, the difference between Freddie and almost all other rock stars was that he was selling the voice. The songs he wrote drew from a wide variety of genres, including progressive rock, disco, and jazz, appealing to fans of all ages. If the musically complex Bohemian Rhapsody isn't to your taste, perhaps the smoother and simpler crazy little thing called love is. Freddie's musical abilities were only matched by his energetic and extravagant onstage persona, which he used to charm and enthrall stadium audiences. At Live Aid in 1985, a dual venue concert held simultaneously at Wembley Stadium in London and John F. Kennedy Stadium in Philadelphia, Mercury gave what has since been called the greatest live performance in the history of rock music. A stadium audience of 72,000 people clapped, sang, and swayed in unison to Queen's music and Mercury's prompting. In reviewing Live Aid in 2005, one critic wrote, those who compile lists of great rock frontmen and award the top spots to Mick Jagger, Robert Plant, etc., are all guilty of a terrible oversight. Freddie, as evidenced by his Dionysian Live Aid performance, was easily the most godlike of them all. Though Freddie Mercury could be described as a rock god, he was only mortal, and on November 24, 1991, he died at the age of 45. The official cause of death was bronchial pneumonia resulting from AIDS. Mercury denied contracting HIV for several years prior to his death, and it has been theorized that Mercury could have made a contribution to AIDS awareness had he spoken earlier of his condition. Despite his silence, Mercury's status as the first major rock star to die of AIDS-related complications represented a very important event in the disease's history. The Mercury Phoenix Trust, founded in Freddie's memory by Queen's remaining members a year after his death, has raised millions of pounds for various AIDS charities. Like many stars before him, Freddie Mercury's untimely passage from this world may have caused his light and legacy to grow, glow even brighter. Queen's music continues to top greatest hits charts and popularity polls even 20 years after his death. As of 2005, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, Queen albums have spent a total of 1,322 weeks, or 26 years, on the UK album charts. Freddie Mercury himself has received several tributes, including a 10-foot-tall statue in Montreux, Switzerland, where fans around the world gather annually on the first weekend of November to honor or remember the rock legend. Freddie Mercury was one of rock's greatest stars. From his incredible vocal skills, to his complex and inspiring music, to his energetic live performances, Freddie Mercury helped define what it meant to be a rock star. And though he has passed from this world, his legacy lives on, and the organizations and charities created in his honor, to the millions of fans that to this day still belt out, we will rock you while driving. It's been said that Freddie Mercury possessed one of the greatest voices in all of music, and it is easy to hear why.